on-screen demonstration. Get ready to laugh your tail fins off. Ay, 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 ay. Let's begin by setting up the board. Don't hurt yourself. This game is played with, ta-da, two dice. A six-sided die to determine how far your game piece moves, and an eight-sided die to determine what type of challenge you will face. Reference cards should be handed out to each of the players to help identify the different challenge categories. The question cards are divided into three categories. Peeps and pads, silly and slimed, and pick and flick. Use the timer option on the DVD to limit how long players take on trivia cards. Don't take all day. You can set the length of the timer from 10 to 30 seconds from the main menu. Place the slime cards on the board and select a player to operate your DVD player's remote control. Refer to that person for the rest of their lives as the DVD Slime Master. Or Slimey for short. Bye. Choose your playing pieces and place them at the start location on the board. You win! Only kidding, there's more to it than that. But you're ready to play. Start the game by rolling the number die, that's a little square thing. Meow. No, I don't mean myself, Gary. To determine who goes first. Start your turn by rolling both dice and then moving the number of spaces shown on the number die. Then attempt to successfully complete a challenge from the category shown on the category die. When you win a challenge, you roll the dice again and take another turn. When you win a challenge while on a Turbo Nick space, you move twice the distance shown on the number die, just because we like you. If you roll a slimy splat, follow the instructions on the slime card, then pass the dice to the next player. Your turn? Oh, it's over, baby. Finito. Done. If you roll a My Play, My Play is chosen from the DVD menu, and you attempt to answer the challenge that appears on screen. Obey the television. After you've played many times, you may start seeing the same clips over again. Don't panic. Each My Play clip has multiple questions associated with it, so you never know what you'll be asked. We're tricky that way. On an all play, choose all play from the menu and all of the players attempt to answer the question. If the roller of the dice shouts the correct answer first, they roll the dice again and take another turn. If someone who's not playing the game shouts out the answer, lock them out of the room immediately. If someone else answers first, the roller's turn is over and the dice are handed to the next player. The player who answered the challenge correctly has a choice. They can either give another player a slime card or move their own game piece forward one space. If more than one player answers an all-play question at the same time, the winner is determined by using a tiebreaker. Don't break my tie, though. I just got it. Bye, I... The DVD remote can be used to pause, fast forward, or skip a portion of the challenge. The DVD shuffles itself whenever you start a new game. It's very well trained so you'll never see the same all-play challenge repeated during a single session. If you get an all-play that you have seen in a previous game, simply hit the return button on your remote and a new all-play challenge will appear. On a roll of player's choice, the player can choose from any of the card categories or a DVD My Play question, hence the name Player's Choice. Alrighty then. Now that you understand how to play, let's discuss how you can win. Eye of the Tiger, baby! When a player reaches the All Play to Win stop sign, they are only one All Play to Win challenge away from victory! If they lose the challenge, they move to the outer circle of final cut and pass the dice to the next player. <laughs> it's so sad! The player who won the challenge can do one of two things. They can either give another player a slime card or move forward three spaces. Remember, players in the final cut rings are immune to slime cards. In final cut, the player chooses final cut from the DVD menu and follows the simple on-screen instructions. If they answer all of the questions correctly, they win the game. If they miss a question, they move in one ring and have to wait for their next turn to try again. Ah, wait for it. Wait for it. That's it! You're done! You are now ready to play! Good luck! Be sure to laugh a lot! Bye, aye, aye.
The first person to flare their nostrils wins! Now that you understand how to play, I am so happy for you. You deserve this. You're the winner! You're the winner! Bye, bye, bye.